So you say that you have been uh, doing a lot of work on the uh, similar cybersecurity reports on other industry verticals. So a question, how, how is it different? I mean, are you learning new and different things and you're studying all these different industries? I mean, uh, how, how does cybersecurity different between these different industry verticals? Yeah, so the work that we're doing with these industry vertical reports really comes as work that we did on our core AT&T Cybersecurity Insights Report, and that was published mm -hmm. in January of 2022. And I'll tell you the interesting thing is for that core report, we, all, we looked at the data in the aggregate. So saying, you know, of all the people we surveyed, and we surveyed for that report 1,520 people from around the world, and it's been really, really interesting delving into these industry vertical reports. So far now, we have three. We've mm -hmm. done one on healthcare. We've done one on a U.S. public sector, which is SLED, the state local education um, in the U.S. public sector. And it's uh, right. state, local governments, and higher education. And now we have one on manufacturing. So it's just been really interesting seeing how these different vertical markets are really responding to moving to the edge and also how their uh, opinions of cybersecurity differ, where their maturity is in cybersecurity. And to me, it's been really interesting just seeing that these different vertical markets, uh, some of the vertical markets that you may not really think about are really emerging as leaders with edge computing. You know, manufacturing certainly is one of them. Um, I mentioned healthcare, uh, you know, U.S. public sector, retail. So there are... Uh, new industry verticals that are really leading the way in edge. And some of them were brought about healthcare, for example, was brought about just by the pandemic. The pandemic yeah. caused so many organizations to have to pivot and rethink their business model much more clearly and a little bit differently. 